Hi everyone, I'm here to share, do a project share with you guys today. I got together with my crafty ladies group. We meet once a month at a friend's house, a bunch of us, there's like 10 of us, and each time we meet, one person runs the, the class, basically, um, and we do a, a craft together, and then we have lunch, it's pretty nice. Anyway, we also meet once a month with the entire Southern Handcraft Society. Our chapter is called the Strawberry Patch. We meet once a month at night to run a meeting, and sometimes we do a craft there as well. But um, my Crafty Ladies group, it was my turn to run the class, and we decided to just play around with light switch covers for something fun to do. We did some different techniques, and I wanted something easy. It was my first time kind of running the class, and wasn't really sure what I was going to do, but it ended up being so much fun. Everybody loved it. I had bought 30 of these plates, and with nine of us, we had, there only was like eight left. We just did so many, and we had a lot of fun doing it. So I thought I'd share the different plates that um, I made, and if you guys have any questions how I did it, just let me know, and I'll try to help you out. So... One of the styles of decorating the plates that we did were um, the paper napkins and Mod Podge, which that's kind of self-explanatory. Um, here's one I did for Halloween in, in a Halloween theme. And then I just added some glitter glue in, on the eyeballs there. Okay, and you can see the back. You just kind of wrap the napkin around. So what you do is you put your Mod Podge on, you cut out your napkin, the pattern that you want. You lay that on and then you Mod Podge over it. And Before I Mod Podged over it to seal it, I put the glitter glue on. So I did this one in a Halloween theme and then I found this napkin here in a Paris theme and I just stickled up the flowers in it. So I thought that was really, that came out really cute. And the other napkin one I did is still kind of drying because I didn't get to Mod Podge it at the class, but it's a fall theme. And then what I did was I outlined the leaves of the napkin in gold and orange glitter. So I think that one turned out kind of nice. And I might even sell some of these in my eBay store. Um, the ladies had so much fun, they think we should sell some of these at our craft show in October. Um, we do a craft show with our group, um, the Strawberry Patch, and it's kind of a jury show. I don't know if you've um, ever done a jury show, but when you do a craft show, usually when you go to a place, you have your own table. But a jury show, you're, you're together. Everything is mixed, mashed in with everybody else. It's not like one single table. It's a giant room, and all of our stuff goes in together, and it gets sold that way. And it ends up pretty nice. I'm going to do videos from it so you guys can see how that turns out. But they think, oh, we should do some of these, you know, for the show. So this one I did with washi tape, three different ones. And I put the washi tape on, and then I sealed it with Mod Podge. The only problem is some of the tapes, like this one is a paper tape, not very sticky. So I had a hard time with that. So I put a little Mod Podge on the back, and then I flipped it around, and I actually used one of these clips and stuck it on so it adhered really well and dried. So the, that... You kind of have to be careful which washi tapes you use. The, some of them do not want to stick. This one I did kind of a, a patina look to it. And these are seashell buttons that I had glued on there. So what I did was I mixed my Emperor's Gold and Metallic Copper paints together to get the color that I wanted for the base coat. And then once I did that, I sponged on this patina um, folk art chalk paint and just kind of sponged it on there. And 
let that dry, then I Mod Podged over everything, and then I wrapped some of this twine here around the ends, or the edges. So that that's how that one turned out. That was kind of fun to play around with that. Then I tried my hand at the alcohol inks. And I, they really had a lot of fun doing this one because they never tried this technique either. But basically, you get yourself some rubbing alcohol and you get your plate really wet with the rubbing alcohol and then you just, like these are my alcohol inks, and then you just start dripping on your alcohol ink, you know, whatever colors that, that you like. And you start dripping it on and you could swirl your plate around or you can like use a paintbrush to spread it, you can blow on it, some people use straws and blow, you know, blow on it that way. Um, so basically, at this one was done with the alcohol ink, and then after you're done inking up wherever you want it, you have to let it dry for like 24 hours. And then what I did was I stamped on mine. It says "Live, Laugh, and Love" down here, and then I put some butterflies on it. And then I sprayed it pretty far away with acrylic spray. Um, sealer. You don't want to Mod Podge over this because as soon as you add the Mod Podge it spreads the alcohol ink and it smears it together. So this you kind of want to spray with the acrylic sealer. Just make sure you keep it far away. If you get it too close it'll it'll kind of spread your your alcohol ink. So that's how this one turned out. Then this one I stamped directly on using the stays on jet black. I was not happy with this technique at all. Um, first of all, when you go to stamp directly on the plate, you're st if you're not careful, your stamp will slide because they're you know they're plastic. I wasn't happy with the ink because when I went to color it, it started smearing the black into each other. So I had to be really really careful. I couldn't color my butterflies because it was smearing the black with the stays on ink so I'm not sure if there's a better ink to use I haven't played around with it but anyway that one's how that one turned out and then this one I used scrapbooking paper and put that on and covered it I put Mod Podge scrapbooking paper and then I stamped on it using this stamp set here from um, Jilly Bean Soup called Your Tweet and I used the birds. I drew my own balloon here and, and I have birds of a feather that I stamped in here. And I actually saw one on Pinterest. It was an elephant holding a balloon like this and I thought it was so cute but I didn't have any elephant stamps so I tried the birds. And then I used some of the vintage photo distress ink all around it just to kind of age it up a little bit and then I put Mod Podge or I put the glitter glue on here just to make that heart sparkle and then I put the Mod Podge over it to seal it in so that's how that one turned out and then the last one I did I painted it with white gesso to get it ready for the blue paint and everything to adhere better kind of did like a little beach ocean theme and this is the one they really had a lot of fun playing with. So after your coats of, of, of paint dry I went in and I did the snow text on the bottom to create the sand and then you want to let that dry really well and then I went in and I painted over that with um, it was called folk art sandstone the color and I painted that and then I used some fish netting and these I use this is a wooden anchor I got from Hobby Lobby and then these are all seashells that I gathered from the beach my husband and I walk the beach and when we do I always pick up all the shells that I can even the little baby ones because they're fantastic for crafting and then up here I just use my um, my sharpie paint marker and drew some seagulls and I also went in a little bit and made a little more you know white with the water 
kind of make it look like water. So that's how that one turned out, and then I sealed the whole thing with Mod Podge. So those were a lot of fun, and like I said, we have like eight of these plates left. So I'm hoping to make some more. It's just fun to mess around, and it wasn't like a stressful craft. It was something you could just sit and not really think about, just have fun playing around and, and seeing what you could create. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know, and I hope you have a crafty day.